Hi, in this video we are going to be going over a tool called Micro. Um, this is a command line tool, so if you're on a Mac like me, you want to make sure to get there. The easiest way to do that is to click on the Finder. So click somewhere on the desktop, make sure that this is where it says Finder. Go to Go, go under the Utilities, right? And then once the Utilities folder is open, Give it a second for my machine to work, and then we can go over here to Terminal, okay, which I already have open. All right, so if you don't know how to install tools via Homebrew, I have a two-part uh, video series on how to use Homebrew. Make sure to see those videos. They're listed uh, in the channel. All right, so I already installed Micro, all right, so I'm just going to type it in, M-I-C-R-O. M is in Mike, I is in India, C is in Charlie, R is in Romeo, and O is in October. So micro, right? And hit enter, right? Brings you up to micro. Not very useful. <laughs> Not yet, anyway. So one of the things that I'd like to show you are what are called um, bindings. So you want to hit the Alt G button. which isn't working on my machine for some reason. Anyway, so one of the things I'd like to show you are the control keys, right? So what you do is you can do a control G, which gives you uh, basically a, a help, right? So um, if you're looking at my screen here, you'll see that there's a micro help thing where it's telling you micro is a terminal-based text editor that aims to be easy to use, intuitive, while it's taking advantage of full capabilities of modern terminals. So let's actually see this in practice. I'm going to quit out of here. I'm going to do a quit. It's going to ask me if I want to say what I've actually opened. Of course, no, because I haven't written anything. So it's the N key for no. And that closes micro without saving anything. I'm going to move to my desktop. Now that I'm on the desktop, right, I have a list of things that I can look at. So let's look at uh, command1.html and micro. So to do so, you just type micro, and you type command one dot html, right? And so that'll open the command one dot html, which is what you see right here. All right. And as you can see, it colorizes everything. So it acts like you would expect uh, a browser to do, right? Um, like, say, for instance, Lances or one of these other tools, uh, like, say, Genie or Notepad++ or any one of these other clients like Visual Basic Studio, Visual Studio Editor. Anyway, so what it's doing is it's, uh, it's, it's colorizing the text so you can kind of look at things. And then it's got the find tool, which you can imagine that if you want to find something on the screen inside. And it's asking me, well, what do you want to find? So you just font for it. And it'll find the first indication of font, right? Okay. If you want to find the next one, I can just control N. And of course, yeah, just go through and find all the other fonts, right? So and control, control N. Right, control shift N just goes backwards. Yeah. Anyway, so that's one way that you can use it. The other way that you can do, obviously, since this is an editor, you can add something to this. So, for instance, I wanted to add a line or delete a line. I just delete the line. I'm done. So, how do I save this thing? Well, that's Control S. Save Control Command One to HTML. The bindings are basically the same as you would imagine, right? Right. So. Basically, Control G. We'll go back to the Quick Start guy. So, Quick Start, right? You can do a. You can run help default keys, help key bindings, or whatever. So, for instance, you open the command bar, Control E. So that's Control E, right? And then you do help. Uh, key K, and you just press tap, and it'll find it there. And you can see key bindings. I, I 
Central has plenty of hot keys that get easier, which are basically these keys that you can help to do things. You can use all the house keys and arrows to move work by work, control left, and control right, move the cursor to the start and end of a line, control up and down, move to the cursor start and end of the buffer. You can also hold the shift with all these movement actions select while moving. Between binding keys, you can scroll for control Y to undo, control Z to redo, and put the following in the binding space as well. So uh, editing your bindings. I mean there's all sorts of things you can do here. In other words, to get out of this, you can just do a control G again and it gets you out of this page. And if I want to quit this, right, it's just control Q for quit. Because I already saved it, it doesn't ask if I need to save it again. So it acts like a regular edit. 